we literally won't be able to move, scale or rotate 3D objects without this tool. I'm talking about the gizmo. It's such an essential tool that it can be found in almost every 3D program, including Nomad. So let's dive deeper and learn its basic and advanced uses. So here is an object. If you want to move it anywhere in the scene, you have to select the gizmo and it appears right in the center of the object. You can use these three arrows to move the object. The arrows indicate in which direction you can move the object. You can move up and down, side to side or back and forth. The outer ring is for uniform scaling. The whole object gets larger or smaller when you grab it and then drag. But if you want to squash or stretch the object, in fancy terms non-uniform scaling, simply grab these tiny circles and drag in any axis. To rotate your object this way, this way or this way, you can use these inner rings. Pretty straightforward. Now let's look at more advanced uses. Let's say you have moved the object using the arrow and then sculpted on it. But now you want to move it back to its origin. Go here and tap on move origin and it's back in the center of the scene. In case you want to change it back to its original form, which is a sphere, tap on reset. Very useful. You can also change the gizmo size, thickness and opacity. Just play around with these sliders. Okay. So I want to move this model's arm from the shoulder joint. But if I try that, it rotates from the center. That's because the gizmo is in the center. We have to move the gizmo near the upper end of the arm to rotate the arm from the shoulder. For that, tap on pivot and then bottom. Then align and then simply move it near the shoulder area. Now we can rotate it from the shoulder. You can bring it back to the center by tapping on center again. If you want to be more precise while rotating, turn on snapping. Now it will rotate at whatever value you set here. If I set 45 degree, for example, it will rotate at 45 degree and so on. There is another snapping right below this. And this is for moving. The gizmo will just snap to these tiny squares. Now I want to rotate the forearm, but in this case, the entire arm is just one single object. In a situation like this, simply mask the upper arm with the cell mask. Then select the gizmo and reposition the gizmo near the elbow joint like this. Now I can rotate and pose it. This is the technique I used to pose this model. You can watch the process in this video. I will put the link in the description. There is another pretty unconventional use of gizmo tool. So here we have an object. Now if you enable symmetry and then move it, you can create this kind of shape instantly. You can also scale it and rotate it and come up with cool shapes like this. This works for other geometries as well. So I hope you found it useful. Subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video.